How do we distinguish the A's of bipolarity mix from borderline personality? Again, those are not diagnoses of exclusion. They can be comorbid. The lesion, the lesion in borderline personality disorder is a disorder of attachment. It's a disorder of attachment. And as a consequence of the disorder of attachment, you have all this other phenomenon. Now, in bipolar disorder, the underlying lesion is disorganization of affect, cognition, and behavior. But the lesion is more cognitive-emotional. It's more psych cyclical. The age at onset is very different. By definition, borderline personality has antecedents uh, going way, way back, but so can bipolar disorder. But the essence is one of cyclicity. The phenomenology overlaps, but the essence is one of cyclicity of mood and cognition in borderline. The essence of the disturbance is forming secure attachments and relationships. I would agree with that, and I would also just add that you can see the evidence of the disorganized environment in a family affected by bipolar disorder come through if you just study the children or of, of parents with bipolar disorder. And it's the cognition that is impaired in those, in those contexts. We've had now 20 years of studying these children of parents with bipolar disorder. Even pre-symptomatic, their neural networks are disorganized. They're different than kids who don't have a family history of bipolar disorder. And that that's really a nice validation of what you're describing. It's not that these, they, these people don't have difficult relationships. They do, but the nature of their relationships are not fractured in the ways that they are in borderline personality.